One thing we can all realize is that we all seek life. We all wish to live. Nobody likes to die. The desire for life is common to all living beings. No matter how sick we become and how terrible the body becomes, the person is lying in hospital, cannot visit the restroom, there's a bedpan, cannot eat, a tube is going in the mouth. That person also says, Doctor, I hope I will not die. I hope I will keep living. This is the jivesana, the desire to live. If there's a bug and you lift your hand, and the bug realizes there's a danger to its life, you see how it runs to save itself. Have you, don't ever corner a cat. A cat seems to be a very peaceful creature, but it's the little sister of the lion. If you ever corner a cat and the cat perceives a threat to its life, the cat will not care, it will pound straight at your neck. The cat also wants to live, the bed bug wants to live, the mosquito wants to live, and we humans also wish to live. There was one woodcutter. He used to cut wood in the forests in Jharkhand, you know, and his profession was to cut the wood and go and sell it. So he was an old man. He had the whole family burden upon himself. This day, he had cut the wood, made a bundle, placed the bundle on his head. And he was going back. It was a hot summer day. And the summers in Jharkhand are hotter than the ones in Dallas. So he became exhausted and tired and dizzy. His head was spinning. So in sheer desperation, he exclaimed, E moth, tu bhi mujhe nahi puchti. Oh death, even you don't remember me. So when he said that, Yamaraji, the god of death, thought of a joke. Yamaraji manifested there and said, come on. He said, who are you? I am Yamaraj, the god of death. You said, oh death, you don't remember me? I have come to remember you. Come on, your time is up. Come with me. Are, nahi, 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 Yamaraji, I did not mean that. I only said it because I was in so much of trouble and I was not enjoying my life. But if you want to help me do one thing, place this bundle back on my head and I will go back home. See, he doesn't mind tolerating infinite miseries and yet he wishes to live. Why do we all seek life? Have you ever thought? What is the reason behind the jivesana, the desire to live? It is coming from God. God is eternal. Sanatan. He has ever existed. And he will ever exist. There was never a time when God did not exist. There will never be a time when he will cease to be. That is the meaning of eternal. God is eternal. Plus, we souls are his little parts. And that is why we are eternal like him. Since when, supposing you light a fire, he says, since when has the light of the fire existed? Ever since the fire has existed. Since when has the heat of the fire existed? Ever since the fire has existed. So we are parts of God. Since when have we existed? Ever since God has existed. 
we are also eternal. But under this illusion of Maya, we are thinking we are the body. And hence, we are subject to the experience of death. And this experience of death has happened to us many, many times in innumerable lifetimes. So, that fear is there in the subconscious. We don't like death. We wish to be eternal like God is eternal. Why do we seek life? Because we wish to be like God. We wish to be like our creator. And because he never dies, we also do not like death. This concept of death goes against the nature of our soul. This seeking of life is a seeking to be like God.